So hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a Sephora haul for you guys. I'm just going to jump right into it. I went to Sephora because I wanted to pick up the beauty cleanser solid. It's for the beauty cleanser and this right here. And I wanted to try it out because all the uh, girls on YouTube were talking about it. And I wanted to see if it really works and what I thought about it instead of just using like regular dish detergent and olive oil and all those. And they work really, really good. But that was my main trip just to go to Sephora to pick one of the little babies up. But um, when I went there, this never happens to me, I have to say. This never happens. When I went there and I asked her for this, she was very helpful, awesome girl. Um... She was putting up Lorac products, and I was like, uh, what's all that for? And she's like, oh, we're having 50% off all items. And I, my, of course, my jaw dropped, and I was like, are you kidding me? She said that she is getting rid of their store. I don't know if it's just my store of Sephora's getting rid of it, because it's in the mall, and they're in a JCPenney. So I don't know if just my Sephora's getting rid of Lorac, but that's what she said, and they're doing all, they were doing 50% off. So hopefully, I don't know if it's all Sephora's that are getting rid of Lorac, but mine was, and I got first dibs, and she said she was just putting out all the items, and she just put all the stickers for half price and all that stuff. So I got first dibs, so I got so excited, because normally when sales go on or something like that happens, I go in there and everything's completely gone. And I'm always like, mm, I didn't get any sales, that sucks, and I have to full pay full price for something. I got lucky, and I, <laughs> of course, I went, and it, I did not go too crazy because my husband's birthday's coming up, so I had to keep that in mind. Of course, I wanted to buy everything off everything <laughs> from Lorac, but I couldn't, but I did get a couple things. So hopefully, if they're still having it, run to your Sephora right now because everything was pretty dang on dirt cheap, in my opinion, for Lorac. Anyway, I want to just jump right into it and show you guys what I got and tell you. I don't know if I have the receipt. I'm really hoping I do. I have the receipt! I'm sorry for the jumping of the camera. But anyway, and all the ruffling of the paper. But I have my receipt here. And I'm just going to tell you guys the um, the actual price. This right here, of course, was not on the sale. It's not La Rock. But anyway, this one was, uh, what is this? <laughs> This one was $15.95 for the cleanser. They said that can you can use it also like on brushes and things like that. So I definitely want to definitely use it on my beauty blender and try it on all my brushes. See if it's worth the $15 or if it's just worth going to the dollar store to get a $1.99 dish detergent. We'll find out. Because my beauty blenders are so dirty and I cannot get the foundation completely because they are so stained and I can't get it out. So I'm hoping this little baby does it for me. Anyway, moving on. I got this Perfection Mattifying Face Primer from Lorac. That's what it looks like. Okay, so this was originally $32 for this product. Um, of course, you know, you get a lot. You get a lot. So you get one fluid ounce. Original price was $32. And I got it for six. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got it for sixteen bucks. Sixteen bucks. Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, woo! Okay, I got so excited. <laughs> and they wrapped it up all in this, but I took out all the wrapping and stuff. They wrapped it really cute. Um, I did use this last night. I have to say, I did break into some stuff. I got these nail polishes. These are the magnetic nails. You know when you uh, the paint them and then you put the magnetic, you set it on your finger like this. And it's like that magnetic, man, magnetic, yeah, uh, nail polish. And you set it on your finger and it's supposed to come up with, I don't know if you guys can see that, but something like some sort of design like that. And I kind of did it last night, but I have to say... I thought it was really cool when it actually worked out. I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit. It does work, but I'm just very impatient, so I don't know. <laughs> but it does work, and this this hand, I just didn't want to do it because I got impatient. But it does work, but the only downfall was this stuff chipped. I just did this, what was it, last night 
or the night before. I can't remember. But it already tipped within a day or two. I don't care. Stuff's pretty good. It was pretty cheap. Uh, originally, this nail polish was... They're saying originally this nail polish was $16. I got it for $3.99. Anyway, I did the purple. I want to try out the blue, and I got to have some more patience for it. But, eh, had to get some nail polishes, of course. Moving on to the Lorac. What did I get? This is the Creamy Brow Pencil. And, of course, I had to get it in blonde. <laughs> And it looks like this. Has the uh, spoolie on one side. Have not tried this yet. And then it looks like that. It is not creamy though. Why the heck are they saying creamy? It's very dry formula. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see that. It ain't creamy. It's rougher from creamy. It's more dry, but. Sometimes I like more dry, so maybe we'll see how that works out. Um, I will be doing a review on each product and a demo on each product, telling you what I think. But I, I want to take some more time on trying them out, seeing what I think before. Tell me what you guys want to see. If you guys want to just see a first impression on it or an actual wait for me to wait a little while and tell you what I think of them. Just let me know. But yeah, this one was, let me see, this pencil was originally $20.00. And of course, I got it for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. You can't beat that. You can't beat it. Okay, I got the Lorac Touch Up and Go. Touch Up to Go. And it looks like this. I don't know if I'm going to use this for like an actual highlighting under the eye. And it's just something that you push down. Uh, it's like that brush applicator. Well, that was hard. I guess because it's new. It's just a little brush applicator. But um, hopefully I can use that as an actual highlighter. This one was originally $28. I got it on sale for 14 bucks. That is a steal. Oh, so excited. Next product. Sorry for all the ruffling, but... I am literally just taking it right out of the bag here. Okay, so I got the next thing here is the Lorac Perfection. I guess, I don't know if it's a foundation primer or is it a, it's a baked perfecting powder. So it's a baked, I got it in fair. I don't know if it's just, I'm going to use this for an actual foundation powder or if I'm just going to use this to do a touch up. But it's kind of thick. So I might actually just use that as an actual foundation. But it's so pretty. You need that. We'll have to see. I'll have to see. I'm going to have to try it out. Feels a little bit powdery, but looks good. And I got this in, what is it? Fair and Pal and P1 or PF1. The packaging is really pretty. Of course, I'm getting my fingerprints all over it, but that's what it looks like. Look, you can see my camera. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Um, I will tell you how much this was. This was originally $33. I got it on sale for $17. That's not that bad. That's pretty daggone good. Okay, this is not Lorac, but I wanted to get this and pick it up anyway because it was on the clearance department. And I saw it and it caught my eye and I wanted it. It is the Sephora lip gloss, and it was only five bucks. The Sephora lip gloss, and it's so pretty. I haven't opened it yet, but uh, maybe I should. I just clipped my nails, so I have no nails. So it's going to take me a century and a half just to open this package. Here we go. This actually is in Swagger. They call it Swagger, and it's only five bucks. So, like, look how this big lip gloss from Sephora. It's so pretty. Uh, and I will do a little swatch for you. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that huge Dova applicator! That is huge! But it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It has like so huge chunks of glitter. Like huge chunks of glitter. But look at that Dova applicator is huge. <laughs> it is big. Like look at that. But it's so pretty. Like 
Let me see. Okay, so this has, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has huge chunks of glitter. I don't think you guys can really see it. Maybe. Do you see that, like, one? Mm, I don't know. It has really big chunks of glitter, so I don't know if it's going to be glitter, like, gritty. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to try it on now. Oh, my God. That just went everywhere. Is that gritty? Oh, my gosh. It smells like peaches. Don't, don't eat it, Sharon. Don't eat it. We are moving on. Okay, next thing I got is this Kat Von D perfume in Sinner. I'm not going to take it out quite yet. I don't know if I'm going to do a review on this one, but I might. So originally this perfume was $58 for the Kat Von D perfume in Sinner. Originally $58, I got it for $16.99. Hola, hola. $16.99, baby. You can't beat that. Like, hello. And that was the end of my haul. Like I said, it wasn't too much. Because I got to keep my husband's birthday in mind here. But I did ask for just a sample to see if it's worth it to me. Because remember I told you in my previous um, videos that I have really large pores. And I like to find things that can help me diminish them. Make them smaller. Try to get rid of them. I asked her for just a sample of this, this Glam Glow. Is it Glam Glow? Yeah, Glam Glow. Just a sample, just to try it out maybe once. And I like, I want to see how this works out. That's another reason why I went there. But the actual big one, the uh, actual tub of it is like 69 almost 70 bucks. So that's kind of expensive. So I wanted to see if it was actually worth it. So I haven't tried that out yet. And then they just gave me a sample of the Buxom Show Some Skin Foundations. So, I don't know. I might try this. It's the Weightless Foundation Light to Medium Coverage. So, I guess I'm going to be the light one right there. It looks a little bit yellow for my skin, but we'll see how that works out. But anyway, that is my haul from Sephora. I hope you guys get the same discount that I did. I don't know if your guys' Ulta is doing the same thing, but they're taking Rock Beauty Cosmetics out of my Sephora. I don't know if they're doing, like I said, I don't know if they're doing it to all Sephoras, but if they are, run to your Sephora and swoop it up. Swoop all their cosmetics because it is on sale. 50% off. I want to hurry up and let you girls know before it's all gone. Totally worth it. And this makeup look will be coming up soon. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And I guess I will see you guys soon. Alright, bye guys.